In this video I will show you how to quickly uh, open up an external port and access to Edge Router from the internet. By default it is locked out and or you can only access the Edge Routers from the local LAN. Uh, so in our example I will be uh, changing the HTTPS port which is 443 to 65000. I uh, want to use a different port. So let's do it. Let's log in. All right, the first thing we have to do is uh, go to the firewall tab. We're going to click on firewall policies. Now, in here, we have to edit when local. Rule set, and we're going to hit edit. In here, we're going to add a new rule. We're going to call this remote access. Uh, we have to enable that. Action will be accept. Uh, we're changing it to TCP. And in my case, I'm going to actually uh, lock the uh, traffic. I want to see who's trying to connect. Uh, the last thing in here, we have to go to destination tab. And we have to assign a port, which like I said, in my case, it's going to be 65,000. But if you're using 443, the default one, you just enter 443. In my case, it's 65,000. We're going to save that. We also have to reposition this row to be at the top. We have to do it twice for some reason. Edge routers don't save it on the first approach. Now it stays up here. We're going to save row order. We done with this part. However, since I changed the uh, uh, default port uh, to access this router, we're gonna have to go to config tree, service, GUI, and we have to change that as well to sixty-five thousand. All right, we're gonna hit preview to save it, and we're gonna hit apply. Now we're going to get an error because we lost the connection. It says the save failed, but it's incorrect. It actually saved. Uh, it's just that it lost the connection and it displays the error for some reason. Now we're going to enter that port, 65,000, and hit enter. And here we go. Here is our access to our router. Now you can access it from outside. Thank you for watching.